Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rugel Muhammad Salisu. If this is your first time on my channel, you're welcome. I am glad to have you. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you guys for so much for being here. I really appreciate the support and I just appreciate it. Thank you guys. So I don't want to start complaining by just you know opening the video and then just complaining. Let me just do what I'm here to, when I'm here, what I'm here to do. But I have a gist for you guys. Maybe it could be another video. Or maybe I will just do it at the end of this video. I forgot to bring my book and here it is. So I recently, uh, a couple of days earlier, a couple of days um, earlier, so a couple of days I posted it on my WhatsApp and Instagram that way. What do you guys want to see on my YouTube, on my next YouTube video? So mostly voted for um, lifestyle and islamic channel some voted for motivation and most people voted for spoken word poetry that has the highest votes so and then the least vote was q and a so i wanted to start with the least one and then just go keep going up you know just to get this out of the way and just do it so for those that responded to my q and to the whatever it is called for those that that responded i am glad you guys did and i really appreciate it and i have and as i have oh my god this english is not even coming english will just embarrass somebody like this so for those that that responded thank you so much for responding i really appreciate it and i am going to take that into consideration and those that gave me suggestions i'm really glad to have you guys i really appreciate that too and also those that sent in their questions thank you and i am here to answer your questions so those that voted for Q and A mostly they are people that know me personally and they know the answers to whatever it is they're asking. So, but for the sake of others who don't know me and I know there are a lot of YouTube fans who want who want to get to know me better and just want to be involved, like want to be involved in this Q and A. So I came up with a couple of questions added to the ones that they have um, asked me. So I'm. Um, because I am using my phone, I'm going to be using this cute little book that a friend gave me when I was coming back for holiday. Yeah, I love this book because it says this girl is on fire and I added the yes here. And you guys know that I am on fire. I love this book. So love this book. So I'm going to use this book because I've written the questions in here. The questions were from my phone. I transferred them into this book and I'm going to be using it to answer the questions and here we go question one what is my name like the question it's from different people mostly asking about the meaning of my name Rook Samawa. if you know me personally you know i use that name a lot and my country the state i i live in and my state of origin i don't know why people ask me my state of origin when i tell them the state that i live in okay let's start from the beginning my name and my nationality. My name is Rukai Muhammad Salisu. Yes, that is my name. And my nickname is Ruks Hamawa. Ruks Hamawa is a, it, uh, it's a combination of two names. Ruks and Hamawa. Yeah, Ruks is a pet name given to me by my dad. Yes. I'm not a daddy's girl, but you know, I'm all over the place. Yeah, Ruks is a pet name given to me by my dad. And then Hamawa is our family name. We have a big family and our family is called Hambawa. That brings us to the second segment, section of the question. <laughs> Am I even putting the English right? Yeah, my country, I'm a Nigerian from Arewa, from the northern part of Nigeria. I live in Kano state, I am, um, and I use Kano indigen, but I am originally, or let me say my grandfather is originally from Adamawa state. And that is where the Hamawas reside. It's like, I like to call it, Adamawa is like our headquarters, um, yeah, head office, and then Kano is the branch office because our family is kind of divided into two. We have those that are in Adamawa and then those, like we are kind of all over the northern states, but mostly these two states, they have the highest number of Hamawas living there. So Adamawa, they are the main head office, and then Kano is the branch office. We have other branches in Medjugorje, Yobe, Gombe, mostly, but then Kano, is where I live in. So I am from Kano. And if I tell people that I am from Kano, I don't know why they don't believe me. But tell you what, guys, I am proudly from Kano and proudly from Adamawa. 
I love both these two states, even though I've never been to Ademawa, but I love it. So, question two. Okay. My course and where I study. Okay, I study microbiology. I am a student of microbiology studying in International University of Africa, IUA. Most people know it as Ifriqiya. I personally like calling it Ifriqiya. So I study in Ifriqiya, Sudan, here Khartoum. Yeah, so I'm studying in Sudan. And then question three, hmm, marital status. This is the first question somebody asked me when this will be Paul. I am not married. That is the answer to this. I'm not married. Number four, why do you wear niqab? Seriously, you guys, when I saw this question, I'm like, ah, ah. Somebody does not know me, Abi Walashu. Okay. I wear niqab. I have a video specifically, I think two videos for this, why I wear the niqab. But for the sake of others who have just recently joined the channel and just for the sake of I love answering it, I'm going to answer this again. But I urge you guys to go and watch my niqab story one and two. I'll put in, I'll put the link of the two videos down below in the description box so that you guys will go and have a deeper understanding of why I wear the niqab and a lot more about the niqab. So I wear the niqab because I just love the niqab. It gives me my identity. It it just gives me my identity, which I feel like I have been having this identity for over 10 years now. I think 10 years, yeah, something like that. 10 years, so I just love wearing the niqab and also the bigger picture like to get closer to Allah you know all this kind of stuff wearing niqab doesn't mean that you are like more pious than everybody no it just means that you're trying to work on yourself personally if this is the way you want to work on yourself to get closer to Allah then go for it and if you're wearing it for somebody else or for any other reason please just find a true meaning of you while wearing it but another reason which I really love about why I wear the niqab is it just gives me this identity. I know I keep repeating the word identity because before I started wearing niqab, people judged me based on my looks, based on how I look. Before I'm giving, let's say, we're in a school project or anything like people will just judge me based on my look. Okay, you look this, you can't do this, you know, this kind of thing. But wearing the niqab, it like tells them that, okay, this is all you can see and all you can judge is by what I have up here and what I can offer and yeah I know people kind of judge me but not like I was being judged before I wear the niqab when people see me like this in some places they think this is not a place for niqabis but I don't care because I mean it's a free world and then yet I get less judged of my intellect or what I have to offer with the niqab so that is why I love wearing it and then question five what matters most to me when I first saw the question, I was like, okay, I, it's kind of deep. But then when I like look at it the second time, I'm like, my family, they were the first thing that came to my mind, my family. My family matters most to me because they are me. And I mean, they're just family. And family doesn't mean like you have to be related to somebody by blood. No, family means, for me, family has a lot of definitions. And I feel like family is... People that you can be yourself with when you're around them, you can be yourself. That is family to me and that's it, I guess. Yeah, my family, my biological family and then my Sudan family. Yeah, these people matter to me most in the world. And then number six, these, I think the last three questions are the questions that I added to what people asked me. Mostly they were silly, silly questions from my sisters, which you guys know what you can which you guys know the answer to so <laughs> please don't mind me being sassy to them i just sometimes you know sisters really get on your nerves the next question is what is my dream in life my dream in life that's i have a lot of dreams i am an ambitious person i love doing a lot of things but my biggest dream is to just give back to the society in whatever little way that i can i mean like just do something for other people. I love giving back to the society. I love doing things for other people. I love helping people. So my biggest dream is to, I can see myself in the future, you know, doing something that will really impact 
the society. I truly see myself doing that. I don't know in two years to come, in a few years to come, it doesn't matter, but I just see myself doing something that will help the society and will go a long way in helping the society. And so I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant me the ability to do so and grant you all guys your deepest wishes. The next question is, what is, what is my greatest strength and my greatest weakness? My greatest weakness is me not being able to work under pressure if there's pressure, like no matter how little the amount of pressure is, I collapse completely. I can't work under pressure. And another thing I think which, which is the backbone of me not being able to work under pressure is I don't know how to live in the moment. Living in the moment in the sense that I don't know how to react in a certain situation, like let's say something happens and it needs immediate reaction or action. I don't know how to do that. I need to get back home, think, analyze the situation, and then come up with possible solutions. I think that is me not being able to work under pressure. If you need something that is like straight up, you need me to do it, and I'm under pressure, I feel like I do that drastically. It's not going to be and it's not going to be well with whatever I do under pressure. But if I'm chill, I'm calm, I will give in my best. This is just me and then my greatest strength, I think it goes back to me being chill. I have the ability to be calm sometimes under pressure. Sometimes, everybody is a complicated kind of person but I feel like I'm complicated in a different way. Situations that need somebody to be like, you know, really anxious all over the place, I'll be like chill. I don't, it doesn't get to me. And situations that are minute, that shouldn't even get to anybody else, gets to me. So I think this is my strength. My strength can be my weakness, and my weakness can be my strength. Then the last question, if I were to say something to my younger self, what would I tell her? Hmm. Actually, this particular question, I, was, I watched uh, an episode of Honesty Talk. They were like notes to their younger selves or advice to their younger selves. I watched it. I have been like watching a lot of TV shows that have this kind of things. Like, what would you tell your younger self? So I got inspired. I was like, okay, I'm going to work on a video like this. But I feel like I have not been um, around in this world for so long that I have like, you know, life experiences that I will be in the best position to do that. I feel like. I need to be more than two decades in this world for me to be able to say something. Even though two decades plus isn't a joke, obviously, but not as a person who have lived like uni five decades or 3.5 decades or four decades. It's not going to be the same. So if I were to say something to my younger self, I think I'll just tell her, you know what, girl? You are definitely going to be in a spot in your life whereby nothing else is going to matter unless it has a huge impact in your life. What I mean is don't overthink it, don't sweat it if it is not going to matter in your life in a couple of years to come. If the impact of whatever it is you're thinking or you're overthinking is not going to have a huge impact, it's not going to help you in one way or the other in your life, it's not going to be to, to, to go a long way in your life, don't sweat it. And, <laughs> and what else? What am I going to tell my younger self? You know, it's ironic. Um, not ironic, it's kind, it's kind of surprising. I had a, a lot, a tons of things I wanted to, to tell my younger self. Now that I'm in front of the camera, I can't think of a single, single thing, single essential thing in my daily life that I can tell my younger self. All that I know I can tell her is just keep being you. You are amazing the way you are. You don't need to be in anybody else's shoe. Like you don't need to copy people for you to fit into their lives what is going to happen will happen and what will stay will stay don't sweat it this is just what i'm going to tell her because that girl has gone through a little bit much but she's still surviving that is just it so i am definitely going to be working on this particular video a note to my younger self but i don't think it's going to be anytime soon because this video 
this um, note to my younger self, it needs some certain um, life experiences that will definitely help me with that. I don't, I'm not saying that I have not experienced life struggles or anything. I have, but not to the essence that if I have lived, let's say, three decades on earth or four decades, not to that extent. So this is it. I have come to the end of the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, and just keep sharing this video. If you have any other questions for me, drop them in the comment section. And if you have anything you want me to talk about, my next is going to be either lifestyle, um, what else? Yeah, lifestyle, Islamic, and probably it's going to be spoken word poetry. But the issue is I have not yet memorized the poem that I wanted that I want to recite so I don't know which one it's going to be we'll see the next video when it's when it is ready